Hello everyone, uh, welcome back and uh, I'm back with uh, for another tutorial for Pig Basic programming. So uh, I've shared a couple of tutorials for Pig Basic and uh, in this tutorial we shall learn how to you know up upload uh, data from Excel sheet uh, to a Pig Basic file or you know how to update the existing data in a file um, from the Excel sheet. So so you have a huge file with thousands of lines of records and that you want to enter into your uh, uh, or you into your pick basic file so of course you are not going to write them manually you are not going to key them manually right so what we are going to do is we are going to use a program to extract the data from the excel sheet and write it into the file okay so that's that is the agenda today so this is our channel uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed it yet and uh, before any further ado, let's start the process. Okay, so I'm gonna start it. So this is my program. Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is I have create, I have created a, a what do you say? I have created a very uh, small file. So this is my file. Okay. So if you see this, uh, uh, this is a file which is containing some data and that I want to. Uh, uh, you know feed to our file so it has some fields like like as usual uh, you know uh, the files should have okay so I've just uh, you know used some, some key this is the key of the file which is ID and then these are the attributes okay so and uh, yeah I mean of course uh, uh, you can uh, add as many values or you can just l let me just uh, key in some more values you know just to make sure to have a better feel of it okay so these are the, the fields and attributes are, uh, are only for the test purpose and don't make a thing out of it and uh, I'll just uh, change the key value to something else okay so yeah so this is my data and there could be any number of lines you know and uh, I'm not I'm not gonna put so many attributes so let's just say I have these many data and attributes that I want to insert into a file okay in a big basic okay so this is my file so first of all what you have to do is so I'll just let I'll just show you the uh, the uh, the file that I'm going to use so I have this file which has uh, uh, these attributes I'm gonna use so if I open this file so it is it has these these are the currently uh, present uh, data and uh, these are the fields cured patient new patient and death count okay so these are these are the random data and uh, so only purpose of this tutorial is how to insert uh, the uh, huge number of data uh, you know from through a program into the file okay so what is the first step first of all you have to uh, save your file uh, as a text uh, delimited file so just right click on uh, just click go to file and do a save a copy okay so I saved it followed by okay so let me just go back to my program and uh, uh, your your server and then you have to write a program okay so uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, create a new program test uh, anything you can name it anything that you want okay so here uh, so so our purpose is we have to read the file read the data from the excel sheet so you have to first of all open the file so I'm, I'll just specify the path where uh, where my file is located so my my file is uh, at uh, temp slash uh, test this is my location okay followed by <coughs> sorry and then uh, here uh, you have to open the file open sec is the command to open the, the file open the sequence records record sequentially sequentially from the Excel sheet so uh, here you have to use your path my path colon 
okay and then here you have to give the file name so my file name is corona dot txt correct okay and then we'll write we'll give it some other name you know like uh, this file to you know test file or anything so uh, always type in uppercase test dot file else if it is not able to open the file we are going to exit the program so we are going to stop it okay and then uh, of course we have to open the file uh, where we are writing the data okay so this is my file uh, to okay you can give it some name else of course uh, again if you don't find the file that we want to write to uh, we we stop the program okay and then we are going to uh, run it through a loop okay so i'm j i'll just define a, a variable in the file equal to zero and then uh, we are going to do this so loop until and a file is reached okay so end of file uh, do so what we are going to do is we are going to read the file and un un unless the end of file is reached okay so what we will do we will do read so here uh, from so so to read uh, line by line see there is a command called read sec read sec and then you can give it any name record uh, read sec record okay from so this is my test file okay uh, else uh, else and uh, and if we are not able to read the file then we have to make the end of file equal to one okay so this is this will exit the program this will exit the loop and then once we have read the file what we are going to do is we are going to of course write it so we will first of all re store it okay so how do we how, we how do we store so we have read the entire line which is there which is stored in the rec so now field one will be our first column right so there is a method which is field which is used to uh, separate the the line into several columns several fields okay so rec and then uh, we are going to use the tab which is character 9 okay and then first one it will be the first column likewise second field will be our second column so this way you can read the file and uh, of course f3 will be my third column and f4 will be my fourth column so i have read all the uh, fields okay so so let me just check this much because uh, if it is not working then we have to check other things okay so before writing uh, let's just uh, check if this much is working okay so what i will do is basic bp okay uh, so what i'm going to do is we have to compile this okay so basic bp and then the program we'll just uh, try to run it again okay i'll just try to edit it again so i'll check what is the error so a so instead of ed i'm i'm going to use a which is an advanced editor and it is way better than <coughs> a no, sorry ed so what is happening here uh, okay so i have not given the repeat okay so at the end i have to give the repeat because every every loop ends with a repeat okay so f i b r <coughs> okay so it's it's working okay so you see uh, so i saved this and i compiled it and i ran it okay so i'll just open it again okay uh, so yeah so I, I saved it and ran it so uh, so now what i, go, I i'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to run the entire program the same uh, 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 you know at once so i'll just add a debugger okay so that you you can see what is exactly happening okay so i'm able to uh, read the file okay now what we are going to do is <coughs> we are going to write it okay so after 12 
so how do we write it so just use the right v okay so let me just take it a bit up okay so write v and then uh, on okay so write v and then you have to take what you want to write so f2 on you have to give the file name and then uh, where so you have to take the id so id is always f1 which is the first column and then uh, at this place i'm going to write uh, <coughs> so f f2 is uh, the new patient which is the third attribute so i am going to say three okay so likewise i would say f3 f3 will be written on as a fourth attribute of the call id f1 <coughs> followed by f4 which is uh, my fourth column which will be written on the fifth attribute okay so this is how your dictionary is set up okay so this is how i'm writing the file and then of course you can uh, at the bottom you can uh, just make a statement like uh, crt uh, <coughs> uh, the data you know like this uh, something like this f1 <coughs> uh, let's say f2 and followed by some space you know you can give some space <coughs> f2 okay and then f3 sorry f3 uh, we, are we are just going to display uh, what we are uh, entering okay f4 uh, is written written on key okay f1 okay makes sense okay yeah so let me just try to run it again okay so so now the purpose why i added debug is that uh, <coughs> so i wanted to show you uh, what is happening so if you press s now so if you haven't seen uh, how to debug a program you can you have to see my uh, tutorial uh, <coughs> Uh, you, you can see that and there and now I'll, I'll just show you like if you just press s so you see uh, it's this is opening the file so I'll just uh, uh, show you what is open what what file is open so test file slash you see my file is open at temp test for now this is fine so if my file open is working and then uh, <coughs> okay so now I'm, I'm reading the record so let's say rec so rec is my yeah so this is my first line okay of course yeah so you have to go back and check uh, is it matching with your data so you see this yeah so this is my first line three four five six three is the key and then the first column which is the uh, third column in the dictionary of the data uh, of the file and then 234 30 is matching okay so if this is this is the way because if you are adding uh, thousands of records uh, you, you don't want to mess it up okay so you have to at least make sure that uh, uh, first record is correctly written so i'm writing f2 to uh, so i'm first of all storing the f3 f2 f3 and f4 so you just if you go to uh, f2 you want to see the value of f2 just to f2 slash enter f3 slash enter f4 slash enter so it's working as expected which is given in the file correct yeah so and if you press s now so write v f2 on the third attribute okay on the corner file with the id f1 which is stored where so uh why not uh, yeah f1 is here so f1 is is the id okay and then s so f3 is written the fourth attribute f4 is in the fifth attribute okay so if you just press type s now so data 34 23 30 32 is so there should be a space here you can do that of course is written on the key this one correct so if you now now i have seen that the first record is correctly written so you can simply press c 
and then see all your data is written okay correctly on the file so this is how uh, uh, you can write now if you just go back and see list corona so three is my new patient four is my uh, uh, cured patient and five is my death count okay so you see my data is entered so there were some values which were already present earlier and these are the four columns that I have added you can see that is it matching three four five six three is matching yeah three four five six three three five six seven four three yeah it's matching so this is how you can uh, uh, insert data into a file using the excel so this will work for update as well okay so if there is a key which is already present so you just take this key and write for that key whatever data you want so it will not only add the new data it will also update the existing data okay so uh, is the program clear to you or so what i am going to do is i'll just uh, uh, show you one more time okay so let me just do a dot l and then uh, two okay so you see that uh, so what i'm doing is i'm first of all specifying the uh, directory where my file is present and then i'm opening that file uh, to a test file and if it is not able to find that file i'm going to stop it i'm opening the target file which is corona and if it is not able to open that i'm going to stop the program and then i have declared the end of file so if you just do a format here you will be easily able to understand see so now uh, so i'm looping it through end of file okay so if the end of file is reached so i'm gonna exit the program so i'm i'm storing uh, so rec is the entire line which is being read through the read rec uh, uh, function and then character nine is the tab okay so i'm separating the field which is the entire line of the rec and then i'm taking the first value to f1 second value to f2 third to f3 and fourth to f4 and then this is not required <coughs> okay and then i'm writing the values to the given attributes okay and then this is a display message okay so is this clear to you go uh, to you guys and if it is not uh, let me know and you can ask me any questions you want and uh, that's all in this tutorial guys uh, if you have any questions please let me know and please subscribe and share if you like this and let me know in the comments your, your suggestions thanks for watching